From the center of the universe, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, this is the SDM Show with your host, Rob Cairns. The SDM Show focuses on business, life, productivity, digital marketing, WordPress, and more. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. Here is Rob. Hey, everybody. Rob Cairns here. In today's episode, I'm going to sit down with my good friend, Aveka Delic. And Aveka and I are going to talk about a topic that doesn't always go mainstream, and that's Quora. And what we're going to talk about is last week, Aveka posted on Facebook how he managed to increase his Quora presence and basically become a Quora influencer. So he's going to reveal very nicely for our audience how he did it and why he did it. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, and listen to this great conversation between Aveka and myself. Hey everybody, Rob Cairns here. I'm here with my friend Aveka Delic. How are you today, Aveka? Very well, thank you. It's very, very warm and very nice here in Croatia. Yeah, it's, it seems to be warm everywhere. If you've been watching the uh, weather, uh, North America is under a massive heat wave right now. Uh, we were 40 degrees Celsius yesterday with the humidity. So, you know, join the party, right? <laughs> Yes, we are, we are all in the same party, it seems. Yeah. So one of the reasons I wanted Vecca to join me today was a couple of days ago, he posted an intriguing post on Facebook, and that was how he finally became an influencer or managed to make Quora work. And he said it's an interesting story. So I thought we'd get him on here to tell the story. But before we do... I was going to uh, ask him, can you tell the listeners a little bit about your background, what you do? Um, many of us know you as being the moderator of many, many Facebook groups, right? That's where you and I know each other. And we yes. appreciate it for that. So if you tell us a bit about your background, that would be great. Yes, the, there are several streams or areas that I work. Uh, the most uh, known uh, part is what you already said. Uh, I am administrator or moderator in 25 uh, WordPress uh, Facebook groups, and uh, some of those are non uh, WordPress uh, the topics. And uh, there are almost 300,000 members in all those groups of course that it is impossible for one person to manage moderate admin all of those people so i i can only thank and i must thank to all my co-admins and co-moderators who helped me to uh, maintain all those groups clean although in the last uh, period it is uh, harder and harder uh, luckily facebook is uh, introducing some new tools uh, inside of the facebook groups so that it is uh, possible to automate some of the things and actions uh, lately so that helps uh, a lot so that is the first part uh, facebook groups uh, second is uh, freelancers tools uh, which is uh, uh, I would say number one hand curated software portal for beginners and professionals because we uh, curated 4,000 uh, manually collected high quality applications, not only WordPress uh, related, but uh, everything business related. Uh, we are constantly updating it, but uh, unfortunately now we have to uh, redesign the site so that we can start a little bit fresh and input some uh, new tools uh, and uh, uh, for background uh, he is that uh, uh, I have been working in the banking industry for 21 years uh, I was mainly a director managing position in, in car center for 14 years and I was managing 16, 60 employees uh, but uh, after some time and so many years uh, some things changes so I wanted to change that background 
and uh, change the profession. So I uh, jumped in WordPress, mainly WordPress uh, train. So I'm currently also uh, running uh, agency, uh, digital agency, which is uh, uh, consisting of uh, several uh, activities. One is building websites, uh, maintaining, uh, then we are promoting, we are writing content more and more lately and everything else that digital uh, agency is digital marketing is uh, consisting so in a nutshell that that would be it how how has it been during the pandemic has it slowed down at all has it picked up at all have people just kind of shift gears uh, what's your sense of what's going on uh i would say that uh, in my uh, opinion my experience uh, some people unfortunately had a misfortune and they uh, left uh, business uh, areas and those were also my clients but other clients uh, switched from physical world to uh, digital online world because they had to do it to survive so they uh, did it and uh, in, interesting uh, that was somehow overlapping uh, most uh, more or less uh, how many people is uh, clients left that is uh, how we and we got this almost the same number uh, as, uh, and now even more so i would say that uh, many many people are going in uh, digital uh, uh, they understood that uh, this situation could last so that it's better that to be prepared so uh, currently i'm not complaining at all i'm just thanking uh, to to god and to the faith to every everything that uh, it is currently the situation uh, good uh, for my agency because when i see around there are so many unfortunate uh, people, businesses are going uh, out of business. So uh, I'm very sorry for all of them. And I hope that this is going to finish soon so that we all can restart and start clean uh, normally, uh, normal life and business and private. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that sentiment. And I think, you know, I was saying to a friend of mine the other day who runs a jewelry store in the Toronto area and he's moved to selling online. And one of the discussions we had is, I don't think things will ever shift fully back. I mean, I, there's some conveniences that have come out of this. Like in Canada, for example, we have the ability to order stuff from major stores and do a curbside pickup where you don't even have to go into the store. They just bring it out to you. Mm -hmm. I think people are going to keep those mm -hmm. conveniences and they're not going to ever want to change back because they like them. So... I, and we all know the big Jeff Bezos Amazon company is just thriving in all of this, right? They they have broken yes. records upon records upon records, and uh, I think the pendulum has kind of shifted a little bit. So, you know. Yes. Yes. So what I wanted to talk about today was your story about Quora, and this is an interesting one because I've dabbled in Quora. I actually follow you on Quora, so I know you're. A busy bee, if you want to call, call yourself that. <laughs> yeah. And one for me, the attraction of Cora has always been it's the one place sometimes you can find people like CEOs or high ranking business people. They tend to like to share their information on Cora. So let's start with why did you get on Cora in the first place and kind of when? Uh, I started in 2015. Uh, I was searching internet for some information and uh, I didn't know for Quora until then. And then Quora started to pop up from uh, almost uh, every second, third uh, answer that I was uh, uh, searching at that time. I cannot remember what, ne nevertheless. And uh, I uh, saw that people are answering many, many uh, famous people as you said in uh, different areas and some people that I uh, knew from Facebook groups uh, because I started in uh, 2014 uh, with uh, heavily with Facebook groups so it, it is about that time mm -hmm. and then uh, I saw that uh, the questions are very similar like in Facebook groups and people are all, uh, everywhere having the more or less the same 
problems, issues. And I uh, thought that uh, this uh, concept, this system, Quora system, uh, was very good for the uh, documentation of uh, all the answers. It is very easy to find who answered what, when, how, uh, how many uh, views of that uh, answer, then comments and everything. So I, I like, I like in, at that time and today, simplicity of the Quora. And at the same time, uh, uh, the strength of the social network, not fully social network, but the most important parts are there, like uh, liking, uh, voting, or uh, this is a similar uh, situation like in Facebook groups. And I wanted uh, to diversify my influence, not only on Facebook and uh, helping and answering people, but uh, in some other uh, platforms, for example, the there are platforms that I uh, don't like and uh, I will not uh, use it, I hope or believe in the future. For example, LinkedIn, uh, I know it's business network, but I'm not using it and that's it. Quora, uh, uh, I liked, but I made uh, some mistakes uh, uh, and I needed a lot, uh, many years that I found, find out that uh, I did it uh, wrong. Uh, I, we, we, everybody, we all don't have time. Uh, nobody had, uh, has time when it is needed. So uh, I, I am also one of those. So I was uh, saving Quora uh, questions, you know, people asking. Yeah something and then uh, you answer and i like it how it comes on on your email but my problem and my error was i was saving those uh, questions ah i will answer it later i don't have time now i don't have time today i don't have time tomorrow and then 10 20 30 40 50 100 questions oh i don't have time for 100 questions and i don't ever have time and i am not answering only one or two per week questions which is yeah. very low which is nothing which is uh, bad because you are not consistent uh, and it was lasting for many years uh, that uh, my uh, attitude and uh, approach and then i changed it uh, about a couple of months ago i s said to myself let's try to answer not many questions uh, two three four uh, at least per day and uh, let's see uh, what happens then? Because if, if I'm able to maintain uh, three or four per day, you can easily multiply that uh, with weeks, with uh, uh, months, with and then it, it uh, piles up. It's increasing, of course. Uh, it is not only quantity, it is, of course, quality of the answers. You cannot just put everything uh, what you think about without any thinking over, just let it out. You, you really think... Uh, ha have to think about it uh, carefully and then i started to uh, answer uh, three and a half or four four months ago and then uh, i noticed that uh, it is uh, taking uh, too much of my time uh, because uh, you can possibly answer uh, uh, four questions in uh, 15 minutes and then one question uh, half an hour or more if it is co more complex and com com complicated. So I said, again, uh, I need to do something more <laughs> to uh, improve this uh, process, uh, increase the speed and uh, maintain the quality. And then I started to use uh, different approaches. Uh, First, I had already saved some of my answers that I'm answering in Facebook. You know, we all have some knowledge base somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. I had FreedCamp uh, project management tool, which has Wiki uh, uh, part in it. So I'm putting everything in those FreedCamp Wikis, and I, it's very easy for me to find, search, bam, and that's it. So I started to make my Facebook answers public to Quora as well. So that's number one. Number two, I had 
uh, as we started to write for other uh, companies, uh, posts, uh, and very long posts, I started to use those uh, materials because those are my materials and I can use it uh, to, to uh, rewrite it or to uh, uh, attribute those companies that I have been uh, writing for. And uh, that is number two, how to speed up those answering. Uh, then I started to uh, use uh, artificial intelligence uh, writing uh, tools, uh, which are very controversial, controversial because people think uh, that you can use them to write the whole posts or answers. No, it is not possible. They are not, uh, it is hit or miss if you are um, trying to achieve that, but I wouldn't uh, really uh, recommend doing that. I, I'm using it uh, or using them because there are several of those tools uh, to uh, have idea uh, or ideas, outline uh, the answers, have some uh, starting point, you know, and when you have some uh, uh, sentences, then it's very easy to continue to rewrite. And then uh, at the end of my answer, I, I find myself, my God, this, this is 10 percentage of those that uh, the, that text that I started to write about. So it is very helping and it is very, uh, boost very much boosting the speed of the writing and then you have uh, one also uh, interesting uh, um, uh, thing that people i don't know not using it uh, very much when you uh, google search some questions you get some snippets of the answers so uh, many times uh, with those uh, snippets of the answers, question answers, uh, you have extracted uh, from the Google all the uh, necessary things uh, or answers on the uh, or areas to uh, tackle, to, to touch, to write. The problem with uh, many people is that they cannot recognize what is important or true out of those forests. And as I am in this uh, part from 2011 and in IT technology from 1995, I can recognize immediately when I am uh, skimming uh, all those answers and I can make a Frankenstein. I can uh, copy paste uh, several of those putting it together, uh, uh, changing them uh, in with my uh, voice, with my uh, uh, sentences, with my tone. And this is helping very much in uh, speeding up the answers. And of course, you have some uh, articles, then you can also uh, use them and put link on those articles, because again, people uh, are reading, for example, that whole article, but they miss the point. They miss the most important things. So it, it was very, um, uh, how to say, uh, I, I, I still, uh, I didn't understand, but now I, I understand more why uh, people cannot find it on Google when it's accessible to everybody. But unfortunately, not everybody are able to find uh, right keywords, uh, terms, and then recognize what is uh, the most important uh, out of, in those uh, uh, texts, uh, posts, uh, sentences. So uh, this is the number one uh, prerequisite for Quora success, that you can write quality answers and you can write them fast and of course uh, you have some uh, experiences skill skills and uh, some something that uh, you you did it on your own so you are not just uh, uh, telling people things on theoretical level but on the practical level uh, the problem is if you are going to write all of those from your head you can but you will not be able to produce enough answers for Quora algorithm, that's number one. And number two, uh, your business or private or both lives will suffer. So uh, we have uh, so little time, 
uh, in the day. So we need to re rationalize uh, them and optimize it as much as possible. So this is number one, and this is the first part. So prerequisite. How, how much time a day are you spending on Quora, Vaca, right now? Give or take. Uh, uh, I. Uh, that's a good question. I didn't calculate it uh, because uh, now I'm, uh, you know, with that approach, it comes and then I immediately take a look if I can answer it. If I can answer it, then I save it and then I or answer immediately and save it afterwards. So it's scattered throughout the whole day. Throughout but the day. Th but uh, uh, I, I was uh, counting it is... Uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh, for example, answers per day. And if I need uh, five minutes or 10 minutes in average, I don't know, maybe it's one hour, one hour and yeah. a half uh, per, per day. Yeah. So uh, the this is the first uh, part. The, the second part, uh, what happened uh, recently? Uh, there was one question about Wix and WordPress. Oh yes, the old Wix and WordPress battle. <laughs> and that is, uh, I was following that uh, uh, war or, or whatever you can call it, campaign and everything, it, it, it was very heated. Uh, and then uh, I thought that it went away, but it didn't <laughs> went away, uh, go away, unfortunately, because uh, that question was uh, rooting for the uh, Wix and WordPress. And I answered uh, uh, from my uh, personal experiences from uh, yeah. WordPress, but my wife, uh, and I was helping her, of course, my wife got one assignment on her job to do one page in Wix. And I was doing it part of the, that with her. And I went through Wix. I, I saw Wix. I didn't uh, speak in that my answer only on theoretical uh, level, yeah, but also there. on the practical. Of course, uh, it is practical, very low level, but my wife uh, uh, had to go much deeper. And after everything uh, she did on that website, she gave up and said, please, uh, uh, she said to her boss, please give me uh, uh, open arms to do it in WordPress. I will do it much faster and everything because she was looking for a security plugin, for backup plugin, for moving this, uh, that uh, social yeah, network. Uh, so uh, from the outside, it looks very nice. It's really, really uh, simple, nice, uh, cozy, and you like it. But when you start uh, digging uh, deeper, deeper and deeper, then you get more and more in troubles because uh, uh, you could do it, but you have to pay it. And then you have to pay a little bit here, a little bit there, and then it's piling, piling, piling. Going. There, it isn't WordPress free plugins, and then you can choose out of several hundreds of thousands which one uh, suits you. And uh, uh, oh, you bought, like I did uh, in the uh, last three years, uh, many, many lifetime deals, and I have uh, all those premium uh, tools. No, you don't have it in uh, Wix. Either you accept the situation as it is, or you pay and you will get ev mostly or everything you need, but you will mm. nicely pay for that. <laughs> so uh, I was answering, uh, it was short answer in, in basically, it's not long answer, but what happened? Uh, Vix manager, one of Vix employees or managers or whatever, ca uh, came to that discussion and uh, he so was, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he saw my answers. He didn't like that answer, of course. Uh, and uh, he was uh, 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 slicing uh, my answer, those parts that he didn't like about Wix, uh, part by part and uh, painting it in uh, pink. Uh, no, no, it's not like that. It's completely different. Uh, he does, uh, the people doesn't know what they are saying. Uh, Etc. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, after one night, I, I was I am checking uh, every day the number of uh, reads. 
and uh, I saw that my uh, regular uh, visits or readings from uh, 40, 50, sometimes 100 per day jumped to 1,000. Mm. Uh, and then I said, my God, what is going on? And then Controversy. I noticed <laughs> What's going Controversy. On? That because uh, his answer also had, we, we were Thai, but then he went up because uh, they are very disciplined in their network. They have a lot yeah. of people uh, backupping uh, Wix, so yeah. that they have that. And uh, yeah. th this was uh, after that one night. And then uh, tomorrow I said this this was crazy. And then tomorrow I was checking, and I was shocked because I thought that it, it is something some mistake. And then it was eleven thousand uh, after uh, two days, and I said, "My God, where where it is going to finish?" And the third day, okay, started to falling. It's nine thousand and four thousand and five hundred. So, but uh, in uh, several days, so up to one week, I, I think it it had. Uh, 24,400 uh, reads. Yeah. So uh, I uh, figure it out that, okay, controversy, uh, controversy, as you said, this is the name of the game, uh, number one, then uh, consistency, uh, consistent in answering. Then you have uh, also spaces in Quora, which I really neglected. Uh, I, I ignored them for a long time. Those are the... Uh, uh, parts that some company or individuals are uh, putting like their uh, board, you know, uh, they are putting content in it. So I joined some uh, new uh, with many uh, members, uh, such uh, digital spaces on Quora, Quora spaces. And I started to write there uh, as well. And then I, the people started to follow me also from those groups and uh, started to share my uh, answers in those uh, spaces, uh, Quora spaces. And uh, the bottom line after all of that is that I jumped uh, in average uh, 10 times more than uh, previously uh, six years. Uh, so fr from 40, 50 per day, it's uh, now about 400, 500 or 300, something like that uh, per day. It depends uh, how many answers I gave uh, previous in previously in previous day uh, day before and also if uh, there are some controversy also there so that uh, people are talking about and and, and everything and uh, I started to um, get also something that I never got uh, quora started to delete my answers as well and uh, I said, what is going on now? I was uh, doing my uh, stuff. I was doing a hard job. And then uh, they delete it, delete all some of those uh, for, uh, for you. And uh, I figured it out that it is uh, most likely, and it is happening when I am sharing some links and I'm putting those links uh, not as a link, but as a, a link with the image. Okay. So Quora, Quora obviously uh, doesn't like it because I think that all my uh, answers, uh, deleted answers had that in it. So I'm now avoiding doing that. I'm also avoiding uh, um, links uh, in general, if possible. Uh, and of course, uh, if you have short answers, forget it, forget it. No, it, it uh, they will uh, hide it. Uh, Quora algorithm will, will hide it and then uh, uh, you will click it on it and you see, aha, all the short answers or uh, promotional uh, answers are uh, clicked. Uh, Quora is developing uh, its algorithm. So, uh, for example, uh, people started to spam uh, Quora questions uh, with uh, their uh, links, some promotional links in a subhead. Uh, you know, it, it was uh, title, subtitle, and then, uh, and, and I could. Uh, 
uh, notice that this is spam from the space. <laughs> it is so obvious. But Quora didn't get it uh, several months or several weeks, I don't know, months or two, month or two. And then they figure it out, put it in algorithm, and now all those are automatically deleted. So they are improving uh, in those. So I started to avoid doing that, what uh, each is. Uh, alg Quora algorithm. I uh, tried to um, <laughs> find controversial uh, <laughs> articles and put my, not not a fire in it, but my experience. And I'm not afraid to put, if I had some a, a real uh, lifetime experience, I am not afraid. That's my experience. I'm talking about it. And if you people in Wix or Joomla or whatever uh, don't like it because I tried Joomla also. And uh, f thanks God we switched to WordPress that uh, uh, website. And uh, I, I I experienced experienced it. I, I, I didn't like it and uh, I put, uh, uh, parts of the answers why I didn't uh, like it. So I'm trying um, not only to be how to say uh, a clinical medical answers, you know, without emotions. Yep, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, you need to have facts. You need to have uh, information, valuable information, but you need to put a little bit of your soul or your emotions in it and if you do it then uh, people i see appreciate it because uh, uh, i now get something that i never got on quora and that is that people started to voting commenting sh uh, sharing and i started to have converse conversation with them like on facebook groups but it's much harder on quora it, it, it really needs to be something good that uh, they would they would uh, start to discuss with you some uh, uh, things so uh, i started to act more like human uh, yeah. uh, on quora uh, because uh, as i was reading all those answers uh, previously i thought that i need to be uh, medical, clinical, you know, uh, in uniform, uh, everything uh, zip zap uh, as it needs. But uh, eventually I found out that it's wrong. It's completely wrong. And when I changed all of those, then uh, the results started uh, to come because uh, you get uh, then your influences also on Quora. You can uh, promote uh, your uh, clients or brands or, or tools that you like use uh, over there and you are uh, making diversification of your uh, promotional portfolio because if I have 300,000 members which are not okay, not business, not uh, marketing oriented, but uh, I can uh, mention uh, tools that I, I have been using and that I am satisfied with uh, to help people, uh, of course, on the, in, in the first uh, in the first hand and then you have quora uh, and uh, i i was also uh, started to write on medium uh, platform uh, also a long time ago but i stopped so maybe after quora uh, i can uh, restart medium to see how it goes also yeah. it, it is very interesting uh, and straightforward simple thing uh, for example uh, because uh, i got a lot of uh, and bought a lot of tools for writing uh, artificial intelligence and lifetime deals that are uh, helping you uh, to write uh, much faster and uh, higher uh, quality level it's like exoskeleton uh, it yeah. is not uh, writing instead of you. It is uh, like exoskeleton is not uh, moving instead of you, but it is helping you, improving you, boosting your uh, everything. So it, it is really uh, helpful. So th this is very uh, basic for and uh, 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 important for Quora that you have something like that. Yeah. The, big, the biggest problem is, and you, you talk about, oh, maybe you'll work at medium. It's that whole time factor again, right? It's that we only have so much time in the in the bucket. And you kind of, one of the things about social media that most people don't realize is you have to choose what works for you. So what works for you might not work for a jewelry store, which might not work for a banker. It, it all depends on where your type of people or 
people that will convert for you hang out and people don't realize that like you mentioned earlier in this chat that linkedin you have you just shake your head at i spend a lot of time on linkedin because for me linkedin generates a lot of revenue so you kind of got to sort of say as a small business owner where you want to go and why you want to go and figure that out right Rebecca? Like, yes you are completely right and plus i would add something you need to uh, experiment you need to yes. try you need to make maybe intentional errors what and is fail. in your head error uh, but then you, uh, let's uh, let's uh, try it uh, okay i'm now doing uh, uh, in my opinion uh, wrong let's uh, do it. and then you find out that it is not wrong that it is right for that media for that audience as you said uh, for that uh, uh, particular uh, group of, of whatever it is and uh, uh, you just need to to push it for example uh, uh, twitter uh, i have from how many years and it is not going uh, so well uh, for me uh, only 300 and something uh, 366 yeah, yeah. Whereas for Twitter, for me, it's kind of my favorite network. So you choose, <laughs> you choose your poison, right? <laughs> That's, you know. So, yeah. so let's go back to Quora for a sec. So if somebody new was going to jump on Quora today, how would you suggest they go about starting a presence on Quora? Do you have any suggestions for that? Yes, yes. I, I, I did the same for uh, in my case. I uh, enrolled first uh, in all the categories uh, that I cover. I like, I have experience, I have knowledge, I have passion for that, or I want to learn. Uh, so I, I enrolled. But majority are those that I uh, think I could help people and that that uh, I could also uh, learn something, of course, more. So that's number one. So th that is important. So that Quora starts to uh, send you some questions, uh, related questions to your business, uh, not uh, something that is uh, that doesn't have anything with what you're doing, but something stupid uh, mm -hmm. or whatever. So that's number one, uh, um, categories, areas, uh, but also to find uh, what I didn't do, I omitted to do it, uh, Google uh, Spaces. Uh, find some Google Spaces, that, that's number one. And uh, number two is uh, to have, uh, how to say, strategy. Uh, to have organizations, so that means strategy. Uh, in a sense, okay, uh, I can do two or three per day. Let's do it three, or two, two or three per day. Let's start. Let's uh, let's just start. But uh, uh, it's very important not to just uh, jump uh, answers uh, without thinking uh, or uh, short answers, although some questions require uh, also some short answers. But I try uh, lately, uh, in, if somebody asks something, and you are answering in two or three sentences. That person will understand what are you answering because he uh, most likely understand the, the topic. But other readers maybe won't understand. What is? Uh, what do you prefer, shared hosting or cloud hosting? What oh, is the, yeah. uh, better? And then people don't know what is cloud ho uh, uh, hosting, what is WordPress hosting, what is what is anything hosting. And then I start with the uh, when, when answering, shared hosting is that and that, cloud hosting that and that, this one is good for this, this one is good for that. And at the end, aha, uh -huh, uh, my personal opinion is that this one is the best because of this, this, this and that. Yeah. But if you need, for example, scalability, you will go to cloud hosting, not shared hosting. Okay, and then people get it. And I, I noticed that uh, people are reading more uh, such uh, answers. So uh, uh, make a plan, strategy, then make organization. Put your uh, most, uh, uh, how to say, uh, most frequent answers or, or anything, or, or if you're answering on Facebook groups or, or Twitter or LinkedIn or what, whatever, put it in one bucket. So when 
people are uh, asking in some other network that you already have uh, something to offer them, maybe with some tweaking, adjusting, or, or improvement, or uh, reducing, or whatever needed, uh, but you need to have something. If you can get some uh, artificial intelligence <laughs> tools, uh, writing tools, it is even uh, better. Uh, I have uh, Go Copy, uh, Content Bot, and Niches. Uh, for that, uh, so uh, interesting uh, thing is that people are asking, why do you have three? Uh, isn't uh, isn't it one enough? No. And uh, <laughs> the, the the issue is that uh, uh, each of those uh, are yes overlapping between them, but uh, some of the those are better or most, uh, mostly suited for something that you're doing much better than other or other didn't ha uh, don't have it at all. For example, content bot introduced recently uh, one uh, new tool, which is called Quora Answers. Yeah. <laughs> so this tool is uh, really uh, put for Quora, but I'm telling you again, it is useless for the people that uh, don't have knowledge, experience, uh, and cannot recognize uh, what is the important, what is not. I, I have answer already in my head. I know, uh, is it uh, a negative, positive, or neutral answer, and in which direction I want to go. But I, I'm lacking of the words because, for example, I'm not uh, a native English speaker, so I'm lacking some words. And then I uh, put that tool, start to rolling and i say oh this uh, sentence yeah. is good this sentence is good and then i do something so get the tool uh, then uh, i would say that uh, they uh, make uh, social presence more active uh, like vote uh, in a sense vote uh, for the other people answers that are good answers so most likely they will uh, start to follow you. You will follow them. They will follow you uh, voting uh, uh, in both directions, uh, in all directions and everything. And then it's it will start to, to roll. So it will help also. And then, of course, uh, try to be uh, nice in those answers because I yes. saw really <laughs> nasty answers and uh, they cannot answer in on public network something like uh, uh, you would uh, say to me or I would say to you after 20 years of uh, know, knowing each other and uh, being friends and everything. you cannot uh, answer like that. Uh, you must answer with a certain uh, dignity to to that uh, uh, audience and everything. So and think that various people can uh, read that. I, I made one big mistake uh, in uh, all these years, but it was really big in in Facebook groups. I didn't listen my co uh, admins. Uh, especially one uh, Scott who is uh, the longest uh, with me and we are doing all uh, those things together because he told me not to do that and I did it. Uh, and it was a very, very big mistake. So I learned my lesson. Uh, also, you uh, the same for the Quora. Uh, read and see um, uh, the, the answers that have the biggest number of uh, readings and or or, or and uh, votings uh, mm -hmm. why and then try to to do it uh, in similar way you cannot uh, and you must not copy uh, the way they the other people do but you really need to uh, see how what is going on, what is uh, having uh, success, and then uh, trying to uh, implement that in your routine, in your process. And uh, be persistent. Uh, it's marathon, it's not sprint. It's yeah. day by day by day by day, three, four, five. It, it's, it's very hard sometimes, I must tell you, because some answers I also noticed uh, they are repeating <laughs> as well, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so um, you, mm, it's very hard to be consistent and original. So very often, uh, I, I did, I do 
uh, some uh, copy pasting of my already answers and maybe putting gluing together, etc. Because it's the same question, 99%. So I cannot invent. I can only change. The answer doesn't things. change. Yeah. Yes. The answer, the, and the answer doesn't change. And what I'd suggest to anybody, you were talking about tools to keep your answers in. Even keep them in a Word document. Keep a swipe, I call the swipe file, and just keep the answers somewhere. Because I find that I've been doing this long enough that I feel like a broken record some days. You know, you're, you're answering the same answer the same way all the time. And the reality of it is you can only answer how to make a post in WordPress so many different ways, right? I mean, it doesn't, I'm using that as an example, but the answers don't change often unless the technology changes. So I agree with you, like keep the same answers in the swipe file, make it easier for yourself to answer people. It's so much easier, right? Yeah, yes, uh, organization is everything. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you uh, stop uh, doing, uh, those uh, little things uh, day by day and improving, tweaking your processes, uh, then uh, you are swamped with uh, uh, tasks, with uh, projects, with everything, and you cannot uh, do it. Uh, uh, even if you have help like I have from my team, uh, because I'm not alone, of course. And uh, but sometimes it is also challenging in in, in those situations. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, all these uh, tools uh, that I bought these last three years uh, are really helping me, and uh, I couldn't imagine working uh, uh, without them uh, because uh, my productivity would be maybe one third, which is now. And I would uh, work maybe double <laughs> as I yeah. have been doing so far. So, and I I couldn't pay for all those tools uh, if it would be subscription monthly, yearly, or whatever. Uh, when you put it all together, it's it's too too much. It's too too expensive. So uh, all of this together and. Uh, combination of all the social networks and answers and, and one uh, pile, one uh, database, uh, it is really, really uh, helping. And, and now I even, uh, I, I had a problem uh, because I couldn't do it on my mobile, you know, I had Quora uh, question and I'm somewhere I could answer, I have time but I'm on mm -hmm. my mobile. I don't have access to my files, you know, how, how <laughs> I don't want to answer from the beginning scratch. And I know that I have perfect answer for that, just needed a little bit tweaking. So recently I bought another uh, life, lifetime deal so that I can uh, synchronize uh, to all devices, whatever it's needed, whatever I'm working on, uh, on mobile, on other PCs, uh, on, on tablets or whatever. And uh, now I can uh, be even more productive because when I'm waiting in some queues or, or dr somebody's driving and I'm co-driver, then I'm um, yeah. answering Quora, oh, whatever. <laughs> so I using know. my time. It never ends, does it? <laughs> No, no, it's it's it's. Uh, but but ag again, uh, uh, to to conclude uh, for this part, uh, we wouldn't do it if we wouldn't like it. Uh, I like it. I changed my uh, job, my profession. My I started my own company after 21 years, and I uh, went to to darkness, to unknown uh, territory. What is going on? Am I going to fail, etc.? And now uh, I have been working uh, for two years, and I don't regret even one second. Uh, for what I did, and I'm st constantly uh, discovering new things like this with Quora, or, yeah. or recently also Twitter, uh, some uh, uh, discoveries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, yes. the latest thing on Twitter. Have you have you tried that yet, Rebecca, or have you stayed away? No, 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 not yet. I, I not yet, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, there's always something new out there. And it, as, as I said 
earlier, it all depends on where your audience goes, right? So, you know, for some people, Twitter do really well. For some people, Instagram does really well. For some people, Twitter. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Since you picked up your Quora game a little bit, have you seen an increase in the number of hits on your website? Has there been a translation? Uh, I haven't. Uh, Quora is uh, I Quora is not uh, liking that very much. Uh, okay. So I, I I'm not trying currently to drive uh, Quora uh, visits so much to my uh, site. Although I have. Uh, uh, linked my site in my profile and everything, but more more I am uh, building my presence, uh, my uh, let's call uh, influencer uh, uh, aura or, or part, so that uh, people see that uh, I, I know things, and uh, that is helping mostly on my consulting business, uh, yeah. which I help companies how to develop uh, their uh, products, uh, services, uh, mostly software. And uh, I'm doing for them more or less what I'm doing for myself in the uh, service part. Uh, so I'm testing the with my team with, the prod to, with their products, then uh, spitting on them, <laughs> let's say, in metaphorical way, and uh, pushing them to improve those uh, products and then uh, pr uh, help them uh, promote uh, uh, elsewhere, but only and only if I do use it, uh, I, I am satisfied and I'm comfortable to promote it. If not, uh, I thank uh, those uh, people and the persons and tell them, sorry, uh, I cannot uh, do it. So I, I, I had recently several uh, re uh, rejects from my side. I didn't want to do it because I'm not using those tools. Uh, I'm in some something else. So sorry, we are not a uh, good match uh, for each other. So th that's... Uh, uh, that's my primary uh, target if I would like to be selfish a uh, little yeah. bit for myself, not just to help and then go around, uh, to help uh, people and to help myself. Uh, the problem is that I need to, and I want to uh, redesign uh, my website uh, and uh, put it on a higher level uh, yeah. and up update ev uh, some and input uh, some new tools, which I'm again lacking of time. I need to optimize that as well, like I'm optimizing all others. So I am uh, very uh, uh, keen of doing that. When I do that, then I will maybe a little bit uh, more uh, root Quora, but I really wouldn't like, because if, if they start doing to me as to others, they will <laughs> start to delete more and they close my answers. Yeah, or, or you need to clone yourself so there's two of you and find more time. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I, I have that same problem. It's where do you want to put your time, right? So, yes, so. But, but I'm trying now to not to clone myself. It, it will be nice, of course, but I'm trying to clone my um, approach, my yeah. knowledge experiences in a way that I'm passing to my uh, co-workers, colleagues uh, uh, that are helping me in the team so that I uh, start use them more so I have more time for this strategical uh, part because uh, I can do operational part but I really prefer strategical and I, I like to see uh, some uh, big success when I support something uh, or either a tool or, or service or whatever and then I see su uh, success then it's it's re really nice and rewarding. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. Before we wrap up, do you have one last big tip that you can give people about Core? Like the biggest tip you've got? Uh, no, uh, that's that's the problem uh, that I had uh, all these years. The the big bang, uh, how to succeed uh, with Quora. No big bangs. It is uh, little uh, steps. Yeah. All this uh, information that I gave previously do, uh, for doing people, uh, four or five things, that is a big 
thing uh, for Quora. There isn't uh, other big th thing except that you are jumping <laughs> in all controversial topics and then uh, start to uh, provoke, uh, to heat uh, discussions or whatever. If you are such person, then you can do it. I am not such person uh, to do it because this uh, situation with the VIX was uh, accidental. It's, it's not uh, intentional. But if you like uh, being pr pr provoking some things, then that may be a big thing. Do it yeah. and see what will happen. <laughs> when so you start to uh, Vivekka, th thanks for jumping on and telling your story today. Really, really appreciate it. As I said, when I saw that, I wanted I wanted to hear it first time and share it. So I appreciate that. You've always been so much of a giver over the years in the groups and Facebook of sharing your knowledge. And, and for that, I thank you. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, reach out to you, what's the best way? Uh, the best way is uh, to go through all freelancers tools uh, com uh, site or Facebook uh, groups. I have uh, freelancers tools also my own uh, group. Uh, also many others, but I will not start to do uh, too many. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm uh, taking this opportunity to thank you for uh, calling me on this uh, podcast and interview because uh, I haven't heard also or so uh, many topics on Quora. So mm -hmm. maybe you and I will be one of the first uh, <laughs> who talked about uh, how to improve uh, Quora. At least I didn't notice in my uh, area, in my networks, uh, groups, uh, that people are talking or writing or discussing uh, Quora uh, improvements. Maybe they don't see uh, such uh, benefits from Quora because it's everything is free. But the issue is that everything is not free in that sense that people are thinking that you are paying because I started to help people as, as, as other people help me in Facebook groups. And you see where that uh, lead me to, to leave my job, uh, to start doing this and to earn uh, for, my, for my family and life and enjoy uh, in this by doing all of those years for free. So uh, free uh, is a great uh, thing to do for the community, for other people, but uh, people, many people don't realize it is good also for them because as much as you give the uh, in time, you will receive something. And I receive so much of those that I'm so much grateful to all of you in Facebook groups that are my friends and other people and, and members because Without them, I wouldn't be able to run successful agency and to have enough uh, money to put the food on the table, so, so, sort of speaking. So uh, uh, give and you will receive without uh, uh, thinking just to give to, to receive. Just yeah. give help. Uh, I gave one hour of my time, uh, we calculated, Per, per day and it's it's uh, not so much or too much for somebody I don't know but I feel uh, nice when I'm answering and I must tell you that I learn some uh, uh, nice uh, new uh, useful things while answering because I even didn't know so much uh, in details and then, then I start to investigate so you will learn also a lot uh, with this helping and answering so just help I echo that sentiment exactly. Give people and with no expectation, and it tends to come back a mile away. Uh, thanks again, Aveka. Have a wonderful day, and thanks everybody for listening. Bye for now. Thank you, Robert. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. A very special thank you to Aveka for joining me today. And more importantly, for all he does for the community, Avek is a moderator in many, many Facebook groups, and he gives back constantly. So I want to say a very thank you to Avek for all your knowledge, your friendship, and for everything you do for our community. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the STM Show. The show is a production of Stunning Digital Marketing, and all rights are reserved. Rob can be reached by email at vip at stunningdigitalmarketing.com.
on Twitter at Rob Cairns, on his website, stunningdigitalmarketing.com, and on his website, there's links to all his social media platforms. This show is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. Dad, I miss you very much. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Make your business succeed.